Hello fellow collectors, and welcome to Galagun Toys. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video, and today we're doing episode number 4 of Collector's Corner. Today's collection is being shared to us by Kevin. Okay, Kevin's got a really awesome looking collection, really digging it. Uh, so let's just jump straight into it, shall we? Okay, so, starting off at Kevin's details, they look really good. Love the flow he's got going here, how he's got like, almost like he's got the Margin Boo shelves at the top, he's got like the Android Cell Saga in the middle, he's got the freezer second from the bottom, and then he's got like some early Dragon Ball sort of to the bottom. I really dig that, like you've got a real flow going there. I try and do the same thing with my SH figure arts, try and keep them to a certain uh, saga or sort of era in Dragon Ball. So I really appreciate uh, what you've got going here, Kevin. I think it looks really good, really nice. And I'm loving just like the random Dragon Ball art underneath the details too. Like, that looks really cool. Love the Super Vegeta image down there. That looks really good. But some really quality pieces. Looks like pretty much all Bun Presto, um, except for a couple pieces here or there, some Ichiban Kuji and some other stuff, but wow, absolutely amazing, really dig these two details he's got going, they look really good. Okay, moving on to one of his top shelves, really dig this, we got like the Capsule Corp hat up there, that looks awesome with the Bulmers, and then we've just got like a cool amount of like Grandistas and some other Bun Presto figures all mixed in. We got the Red Ribbon Army hat, that's absolutely dope. I wish we could get awesome hats like that here in Australia. Unfortunately, the Dragon Ball hats we get here are pretty generic and average, uh, but yeah, awesome stuff. Alright, looks like another top shelf we got going on here. I love the Kame house there. That is really cool. Um, is that like a custom or what? That is that is really awesome, Kevin. I'm digging that. Love the Sofubi Roshi you've got sitting in the front there. He looks really good. I'm not familiar with that kid Goku sitting next to him on the right, but that is really cool. Then we got Goku on the Nimbus with a Bulma there. Sofubi Pua. Absolutely love that Pua. Really cool. And then we've got like a Super Saiyan 4 shelf with like his Dragon Balls, really cool, some artwork, Dragon Ball GT Final Bout, representing the Dragon Ball gaming collectors there, good stuff Kevin. A bit of a random shelf going here, but pretty cool nonetheless, I like that he's got two different versions of Broly, sort of going in two different directions there, that looks really cool. This uh, Goku in the front there, such a standout piece, one of my absolute favourites. Okay, and then we've got, this is pretty impressive, Kevin. Okay, so Kevin's got the whole manga box set of all of Dragon Ball Z and all of Dragon Ball. That's really cool. That looks really dope. And then he's got the Resolution of Soldiers down the bottom there. Looks like the full set. I think there was only a Hercule as well that was released in there. I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, there was Hercule and there was future Super Saiyan Gohan as well, so... Um, I'm pretty sure that was the entire line, but these four look absolutely amazing in front of his manga display. And then loving the Grandpa Gohan here, looking really good. And the uh, soft movies up the top there, looking really dope as well. We've got his Super Saiyan Blue shelf at the top here, and then like some more uh, Dragon Ball Super transformations down the bottom, really dope. I have every figure on these shelves, except for maybe the Ultra Instinct Goku, I'm not 100% sure, but all quality pieces, they all look amazing together, really good stuff. Oh my god, I am loving this shelf. He's got like the old school manga book, uh, some old school manga books there, and then just some really, really cool Dragon Ball figures. Uh, the, uh, the Goku and Piccolo in the back there, the Matchmakers, I think it is. Uh, absolutely amazing figures. Some of my absolute favourites. Really love this Bulma as well. Looks really good. But the whole display all together with the manga and the cutout he's got going on the front there with Dragon Ball and just all the figures up there just looks so good. I really dig this. Alright, and then we've got some more games going. Really cool. We've got a real awesome Broly shelf up the top there. 
He's got the King Cluster Broly there, such a monster of a figure. Chile, love that Chile. The Unleashed, sort of almost base form Broly on the left there, love that as well. Really good figure. And just, yeah, loving all the stuff he's got going here, looking really good, Kevin. Uh, and then we've got, like, I'm guessing is Kevin's primary Dragon Ball Super display. And this looks really cool. I love how he's got everything sort of mixed in here. It looks really awesome. Really digging that Master Lies uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I think I'm going to have to get off my ass and get that one for myself. Okay, now we've had a look at Kevin's collection. Let's have a look at his top three. So his top three here, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a gigantic series uh, Super Boo, I think. I'm actually not 100% sure what that Super Boo is, but really cool looking figure. The 18 down here, really dig that. I was actually just talking last night with a friend that this is probably the most decent just Android Saga, Android 18 statue figure out there. Uh, and that I want to pick this one up for myself because I think it's pretty cool. And then one of my absolute favourites, the Masterlized Margin Vegeta. You guys know that's one of my absolute favourites if you follow the channel and I really love this guy in my own collection. So Kevin, thank you so much for sharing your collection with us, uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed looking at Kevin's collection as much as I did. Alright, now if you guys would like to have your collection featured on Gallic Gun Toys Collector's Corner, all you have to do is go over to the Gallic Gun Toys Facebook page, post some photos over there with the hashtag GGT Collector's Corner. Or if you're uncomfortable with doing that, you're more than welcome to message me on the Gallic Gun Toys Facebook page, just with your images that you have. And don't forget to include your top three. Very important. Alright fellow collectors, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget you can also follow me over on Facebook, at Gallic Gun Toys. Thank you as always for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.